Hey guys, thanks for joining in. I've reviewed in the past some miniware items like the MHP30 hot plate or the DS212 mini oscilloscope. And all of them had in common is the small factor and big quality. I mean, really good quality. So I was really happy when miniware contacted me to make a review for the launch of their new product. I'm talking about the TS101 soldering iron, the improvement of their big sale hit TS100. Still the same ecosystem, very compact and with a lot of functions. Another thing that makes me always happy is when a manufacturer open source their software. Once again, a big kudos to Miniware that in the TS100 had the source code for the soldering iron in their forum. And you can even have also the schematics of the soldering iron for download. Awesome! All the community can pitch in to create a better product. And that's what they did. The TS101 implements some improvements, as expected, over the TS100. You now have the PD for powering up the soldering iron up to 45 watts and you still have the DC5525 connector to power it up to 65 watts. And that's not all. We have some more improvements, but I will talk about them more ahead in the review. Right now, I just want to thank Miniware for sending this item free of charge for review and all my viewers that have been using the channel affiliate access links to AliExpress, Amazon and Banggood. Your help is really appreciated and as you can see on the screen, it's pretty easy to help. Just use the URL shown before paying your goods and that's it. Same price to you, but a big help to me for keeping under control the channel cost. So without wasting a second more, let's see the features. So as usual, let's do the unbox and see what is delivered in this product. We have a retail box, a very small retail box, to be honest. Yeah, let's open it. It is delivered with a, a user manual. It has Chinese, English and I believe some other language like Russian. Yeah, it seems very elaborate with diagrams, how to, to do everything, infographics, let me see what else, yeah, the options, yeah, it seems okay. So we, we have in here the soldering iron, I think this is the anti-slip protection and we have also a tip. Uh, I think the, the tip that is delivered is the B2, if I'm not wrong. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we have a cable. Let me take this out. Okay, a very nice cable. It's silicon, yeah. Very nice, very flexible. This is PD cable, USB Type-C to USB Type-C. I have here a 65 watts USB uh, power supply to use. Uh, I already used this on the um, MHP30 hot plate to test it. Uh, I didn't know what exactly was going to be sent to me when they decided to, to when they notify me that if I want to, to do a review. They didn't tell me exactly what uh, was to be delivered, so I only have this tip uh, in here. I already ordered a few more tips, uh, like the sizzle one and yeah, the K also. And also ordered the DC powers, uh, DC jack, this is DC5525, to be able to power this through DC. As you can see, you have here the USB Type-C and the DC uh, barrel. This is a, a screw for uh, grounding the, the soldering iron. 
obviously you have the display, two buttons, uh, the fixation screw also. Uh, for those guys that uh, every time they change a tip, use this screw, you don't have to do that. I will show you right now on the screen. They even put on the advertisement that you don't need to do that. Just adjust this to the comfortable position where the tip will not wiggle or will be fixated and leave it like that. And you don't have to, to screw or unscrew every time. One of the changes from the TS100, it's right now you can use a screwdriver, a normal screwdriver for this operation. Uh, uh, before it uh, it was a um, X driver, so it will be a little more harder to do. One of the things that change with uh, this new version, as you can see, you have here, uh, well, it's different. You have uh, some carvings to better handle this. Also, you have this protection for your finger doesn't slip to the hot part. And this anti-slip piece has three functions. The first one is not allowing you your finger to, to, to slip to the hot part. The second one is to take off, to help you to take off the tip. What they say is that you do it like this and take the tip off. And the third one is that this right now, it's a holder. It's a stand. You can put the soldering iron on the table that will not touch the table and it will be on a stable position. Yeah, it seems a nice improvement. So right now I'm going to peel the protection like this. Ooh, baby, you are mine now. And let's start testing this. First of all, I'm going to show you the menu. Let's see the options on the menu. Well, let me connect here the power. So I only be able to use the 45 watts of this uh, soldering iron. I will not be able to use the 65 since I don't have the connector. It's not the standard jack that you use. It's the 5525 and it's a little bit larger. I don't have it here. Okay. The first thing that you s notice uh, when you connect the iron, let me show you. Okay, let's try this again. You have the Miniware logo and the version of the BIOS of the firmware. Fun fact, you can personalize the logo. You can create your own logo for the start. Uh, it's in the instructions how to do it. And yeah, let's start start by the, seeing the settings. So you have the first button for settings, the second button for heating. In terms of menu, you have the B option to, to see the settings. You have three presets. Let's change the preset three. Use the A button for a while, press long. And then choose the temperature that you want using A or B for moving. Okay. I want 400. Let's wait for a moment, five seconds to go to the menu and to set this temperature, press B for a while. Okay. It's set. So if we go here right now, we have 400 uh, degrees. Another option, it's the temperature step. Right now it's uh, 10 degrees uh, every step. You can do it one, two, well, whatever you want. You have the sleep temperature. When the, the soldering iron reach this temperature, enter the sleep mode. The sleep time also, the time to, to enter the sleep mode, the idle time, and the backlight. Also, you can change up to five, I believe 10, the intensity of the light. Let's put this at five, yeah, or oh, three, three is good. Let's wait a bit and we are able to move on. The temperature unit, this is Celsius, you can have Fahrenheit. If you are left-handed, you can change this to the left. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Wait a moment. Yeah. And this change. Okay. Right again. Wait a moment. Yeah, it's the right again. 
the boost temperature I will show you how to use the boost uh, while uh, powering up you can press A to boost the temperature it will rise very fast okay let's go again to that part also the power source okay minimum voltage low current off or on PDP wattage maximum uh, M user unit uh, this is the temperature right now uh, the environment temperature it's 23-24 degrees and to restore to restore everything let me press a bit completed it restored all settings let's now see the heating part for heating you have the A button while on standby it, standby is this menu that is changing you press 1 and if you press again it will boost the temperature okay to change the the preset just press 1 so it's with 20 volts from the power supply right now it's with preset 1 it's reducing the temperature it didn't take long let's take this to 400 okay it's rising to 21 volts and as you can see it took only a few seconds to to get to the 400 very fast to to do that uh, i have a 60 watts uh, power supply but anyway this was very fast uh, okay and we can set the working temperature from the minimum 50 degrees to the 400 degrees okay wait a, a moment it will yeah and it will take you to 400 only a few seconds this is amazing it took only a few seconds to to reach the 400 degrees on usb type c you have to see that i'm not using the 24 volts dc barrel yeah when you press the a he will take you with the boost to 380 you have also here an indicator of the energy consumed the, okay 400 you can see that it's currently using a lot of energy and it is at 400 this is almost immediate very nice now i will test this on a board let's start the heating process yeah I'm gonna take this to 400 it is the T3 preset you can see here full power fully energy it will now yeah 400 very fast I will not use normally or it ideally this uh, tip for for this work but I don't have a uh, chisel one right now let me just heat up a bit and let's see if we can yeah even so it seems to adhere very very well yeah as i told you this is not my first choice of tip for this work but yeah for me this is okay i think this is an awesome tool and if you notice there the the temperature going down and he quickly recovers it takes only a few seconds to to recover uh, when the temperature goes down oh. see very fast and yeah it almost instantly melt the the solder awesome very satisfied with it let's let's do another one in here mm, yeah this is awesome okay i'm already applying some solder to this cable this is the cable that i have here that he has the highest uh, lowest awg lowest gauge so yeah 
let me just put some solder in here and let's see if I can solder this correctly to the PCB oh what is this okay so let's see if I can pass the heat transfer let's see if I can pass the heat to the PCB you can see the power changing here on the soldering iron yeah it melted and the other one also even if the tip it's not the well the most appropri appropriate for this uh, task it seems to be working okay it's it's draining almost half of the capacity and yeah seems okay for a USB powered soldering iron this is very good okay task done you can see that is perfectly soldered in here very well I'm pretty happy with this little guy a very nice unit okay let's move on to the conclusion once again I think Miniware did a great job with another product on my previous reviews the quality of the products I reviewed was clear but sometimes the price was not for all wallets as you probably know my mantra is you get what you pay for and the quality was there so for the quality you get it was a reasonable price with the TS101 the price is real bargain for what you get the quality is still here no compromise but they managed to do these products the soldering irons in a very good price range the TS101 costs around 62 euros or dollars because at the time of this recording was about the same exchange rate this is a very good price considering this soldering iron has presets and a bunch of features available to you don't forget that you can power this soldering iron with a power bank or a lipo battery so this is truly portable you don't even need to have a power socket nearby to work with it just a power bank or a lipo battery the tips are the same of the TS100 and are very accessible you can find them on Aliexpress for around 5 euros and the Miniware originals that I strongly recommend for around 10 euros I think that you have around 10 standard different tips available if you got convinced as I was with this TS101 soldering iron don't forget that you have the affiliate link for buying it on the description and also the access links to Aliexpress, Amazon and Banggood here on the screen and remember same price for you big help for the channel and if this review was in any way useful to you please smack that like button and if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that bell to activate all notifications and be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video I really appreciate your help to make this channel grow and your company during this video that's it stay safe and I hope to see you again in my next video cheers